Welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. The name's Vex, and last time we did the second part of the trial. And turns out the judge is kind of cool with us because we figured out that, yo, there's something up. So now we're out investigating again. Um, Nick? What is it? I've got a confession to make. I'm terrible at figuring out magic tricks. Yeah, that's pretty evident, Maya. Magic tricks? Yep, magic tricks are by the, uh, by their very definition tricks, right? But I can never figure out the tricks when I see them. I'm just not good at it. That's because the tricks are performed by pros. They do it so you can't guess the trick. But, but the trick Pearly showed me that was incredible. Pearls did a magic trick? Hmm, what kind of trick was it? Let's see, it looked like she pulled the end of her own thumb off. Oh, Maya. You're just too pure. Heh. <laughs> First she put her right thumb next to her left hand and then she, and then it just separated. She could move it up and down and everything. It was incredible. Really? Was it kind of like this? <laughs> oh, Nick, you're an asshole. What? Wow, how'd you do that? Nick, you're like a real magician. See, this is why I just can't figure out magic. I'm no good at it. Especially hard tricks like flying away from the scene of a murder. You'll take all the fun out of magic if you keep trying to figure it out. Don't worry, we'll get a character that'll come out in a couple of games to come and teach you. Maybe. No, we won't. Because that won't be possible. Alright. You have nothing to talk about with us, so let's go ahead and move. Back to the detention center. Talk to Max. Sup, Max. Oh, my sweeties. You mind hurrying up and getting me out of this place? We're doing our best, Max. Just hang in there. A little while ago, some people from a local TV station came by. They said that, since I'm a famed magician, let's make our very... Moi, ugh, let's make your own t very own TV special. Really? What kind of TV special? Maximilian Galactica, The Great Prison Escape. It would be aired live. Hey, that sounds like it would be an awesome special. But if I do the special before I'm acquitted, they'll never let me out of here for real. Well, it would surely be an unnecessary addition to your troubles with the law. That's what I was thinking, but the production staff is already working on the show. If you don't get me out quick, I'll have no choice but to stage a real prison break. You seem awfully calm about that possibility. I'd have no choice. It would be a contractual obligation. That's show business. Um, please don't break out. We kinda need that for our cred. What about the night of the murder? Um, the night of the crime, you didn't happen to fly off into the sky, did you? Here is how everything went down, sweetie. At the time of the murder, I was sitting in the ringmaster's room. Not to mention, flying off into the sky is ju not just something I can do at will. I don't care what the stoogied clown says. It wasn't me. Max, Max, do you mind teaching me the trick behind flying? Hmm, you'll have to forgive me, sweetie. The difference between me and a cheap imitation magician is that I keep my mouth shut. I don't teach people tricks, but I will say this much. It's much harder than you think. I was thinking about this in court today. I've got a favor to ask you. Anything for you, sweetie. Be friends with the other performers in the circus. Fabulous. A great joke. Why would I be friends with a bunch of hacks like that? But... I've won on the world stage. I won the International Grand Prix. International Grand Prix. Performers should always look to perform on the world stage. But the performers at this circus are completely and utterly devoid of ambition. That is something that I cannot simply... Oh, I cannot simply tolerate. Ambition, huh? Something about what Max says, said, uh, just said rings true to my ears. Oh my, my sweeties want to hear all about the Grand Prix, don't they? To be honest, though, I've told this story like a hundred times already, so it's a bit boring. Uh, we're sorry to make you tell it again. You must not have heard me. I am really sick of telling this story. 
But what can you do? I'm Maximilian Galactica. I suppose I can tell it again. Now, thank you for your kind words. And... Voila! Here, take a look at this. I just happen to have a picture from the Grand Prix with me. Just look at that fabulous stage. That is the first stage that I ever flew on. I flew right over the audience. The crowd erupted into applause. At that time, I thought to myself that I could die right then and die a happy man. I'll never forget how I felt that night. The emotions, the acclaim. Wow. Ah. By the way, I think everyone who is a performer should get to experience that feeling. I just wish I could explain that to the other people in the circus. That's incredible, Max. I want a trophy too. Hey, Nick, how about you buy me a trophy? Uh, how about a you tried trophy, Maya? That's not how you earn a trophy, Maya. My sweeties, you can have this picture of my triumph. Just make sure you show it to all the other members of the circus. Watch and learn. That's what you should se uh, tell them. Learn how to get thrown in jail? Exactly. I bet you Mo would be perfect at that. Alright, there's nothing for us to do here, so let's uh, go and move out to the circus entrance. Maybe we'll run into Ben. You hear that? It sounds like two people arguing. Alright, let's do it. Are you ready? Yes. Uh, uh, wait. Quit your whining. Let's just give it this a shot already. Alright, let's go. Row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row your boat. What are you doing? Gently down the stream. Come on, you know that. I'm trying my best, but Trilo, this just isn't going to work. Do you enjoy saying dumb things? You're gonna have to be on your own someday. If you can't handle something as simple as this, what are you gonna do then? Hello, Ben. Hello to you too, Trilo. What are you doing here? Can't you see we're on a secret crash training course? I'm sorry. Secret crash training. Whoa. What, what was that, Nick? Did you have to say that? Yes, Trilo wouldn't give up until I said we'd try out his idea for a new routine. So we were trying to sing in a round for our new ventriloquism act. In a round? And that's my dog. You can really do that? That's incredible. See? See? Even they are surprised by the idea. I told you. They're not the only ones. You even surprised me with your idea. Once we've got the got a grip on the basics, then it's just a matter of practice. Y y you think so? Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to give this back to you. Ah, there it is. Now that I've got this ring back, it's time to take one more shot at Regina. Yeah, uh, let's let's not do that. Well, what do you got to say? Today's trial. Um, I know that you already testified in court today. You want to say, talk about what we saw, right? Yes. Well, at first, we thought it was the old man. Just looking at his walk and how he acted right then. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah, that's that's right. But then we, when we said hello, and didn't get, even get a response. Not to mention that he was draped in those gaudy symbols. What would you have thought if he wasn't wearing those symbols? Huh, what do you think, Ben? Uh, what? Oh, uh, um... I would have thought it was the ringmaster. Mm-hmm. Something just isn't adding up here. I wonder who they really saw. I was hoping I could ask you about Regina. I'm completely serious about her. That's why I'm waiting for her even now. Really? Oh, that's so sweet. But if you really wanted to see Regina, shouldn't you check out the tent? Ha! You haven't got a clue about things, do you, sweetheart? Huh? Waiting like this is part of being in love. Uh, how so? If you had a clue, you would, know, you would know that waiting is such a sweet, wonderful torture. When your body aches for your partner's love, that's one of the best parts. Um, y yeah, I, I knew that. Poor Maya. She's so red she looks like a vine-ripe tomato. So how's this new routine working out? 
Will you two just take a chill pill already? Our routines are secret. We're going to take the ventriloquism world by storm. It'll be a real ev revolution. That sounds incredible. But let me make one thing clear. We're not going to take, no, take on the world just because that jerk said we should. That jerk? Max Galactica. Performer should aim for the world. Who does he think he is? Trilo, you seem to really be fired up about all this. He needs to realize that he isn't the only one who can conquer the world stage. You're right. Uh, you're right. Mark my words, I, Trilo Quince, will win the Grand Prix. You're the man now, doll. Row, row, row your boat. I'll be the key. We'll be the key to our glorious victory. Um, not to rain on your parade, but wouldn't a more mature song be best? Hey, you've got to start somewhere, right? Don't screw this up. You've got to be a part of this, too. Son of a bitch. These goddamn dogs are going to drive me up the wall. Alright, well we ain't got much to talk about with them anymore, so let's uh, go ahead and move to the lodging house. Check out the crime scene one more time. Oh, sup Gumshoe. Oh, it's you too. Uh, you look like you just got hit by a truck. Shouldn't you get some rest? Nah, I'm taking a rest right now, pal. I've been listening to some crazy clown's life story. Ms. Von Karma told me to come down here and do this for her. Being bossed around by a woman, I know you're f how you feel. Let me tell you something, pal. Listening to that old clown sucks all your energy. Every time he's done talking, he looks at you like you should be doing something. Um, I think he's waiting for you to laugh at his jokes. I know that, pal. Do you have any idea how much it, your face hurts if you fake laughing that much? No, but I bet everybody listening does. Francisca really set you up that bad this time, didn't she? If you ask me, she should be listening to Mo herself. No way, pal. You're not gonna get me to backbite a woman with a whip. No way. Why are you defending her? Roscuter Von Karma's always got her eyes on us. And every time you def def eh, definitely don't want her to show up. Poof. There she is. Don't show up. 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 Looks like she's wound, wound him pretty tight. She's directly above us as we speak. Huh? How's that possible? According to the clown, the criminal jumped from here and disappeared into the sky. If that's what happened, it means the killer passed right by this window, pal. Oh, I see. Who lives in that room? Behind the window up there. The acrobat's got his room up on the third floor, it seems. Pretty soon, Miss Von Karma's gonna start her investigation up there. So don't get any ideas going up in the acrobat's room, got it, pal? You got it, gumshoe. And by that, it means we will, of course, do that. Von Karma. Once she's done with her investigation, I think I'll go up there and check it out. See what we got. In the meantime, we gotta go up to the big top. In the, uh, in the cafeteria. That's the word I'm looking for. Huh? Well, where's Regina? I don't know. But if she's with that tiger, I don't want to find out. Let's hurry up and get out of here. <laughs> Nick, you're kind of a chicken, aren't you? No, 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 no. I'm just, um, allergic to wild tigers. Yeah, but, uh, trained tigers, not so much. I mean, it is a trained tiger, so... You shouldn't be allergic. No, I don't want to go there. I guess it doesn't hurt. Max and the Ringmaster had their talk in this room. That could have been when the Ringmaster put on Max's costume and went outside. Why'd he do that? Maybe it was cold or something? Yeah, maybe. I don't fucking know. Um, Let's do some examining. This was the table he used when visitors came to see him. 
Oh, you know, there's mud caked on the table. Someone with terrible manners must have put their shoes up on the table. Nick, don't even think about providing a reenactment for me. I wasn't. How uncouth do you think I am, anyway? <laughs> Pretty bloody uncouth, apparently. Let's get out of here. Like I said, I don't think there's anything we need in here right yet. It'll most likely just appear out of nowhere. We gotta go to the cafeteria. It looks even worse than last time. Why does nobody clean this up? Oh, fuck me. Alright, welcome to the wonderful, the fabulous, the cafeteria. Yikes, he's in an awfully good mood. Alright, you know what time it is, riddle time. Why does everyone cry when they eat Mexican pizza? Um, come on, you can answer this, it's easy. Because cafeteria Mexican pizza is possibly a weapon of bowel destruction? Buzz, wrong again, wrong, try again. Okay, what do you think, girly? Um, I got it. Okay, what is your answer? Because they are in the cafeteria. Exactly. It's an incredible sad place, that cafe. <laughs> I did it. Oh, good job, Maya. What's going on? He's being too nice. I completely forgot his voice, so... Today's been a really crazy day, hasn't it? You're telling me. I didn't think it was going to be so tough. Tough? Yeah, it was a tough crowd. That's what you call a crowd that refuses to laugh. For instance, it was such a tough crowd last night I had to smash watermelons. Okay. I told them all a great story and even greater jokes, but no one busted out laughing. You even used the fame no shoes, no shirt, no service joke. Exactly. How can you not laugh at stunning comedy like that? I guess I can go with a nasally voice? I don't fucking know. Are you 100% sure about your testimony today? I saw what I saw. I swear. That creep just... flew through the air? It wasn't exactly flying, per se. It was more like floating. The silhouette of his face made me positive it was Max. I don't see a psych lock. He must be telling the truth. Well, that's cool. Um, we do have the thingy here. Crime photo, no. We have Grand Prix photo. Ah, uh, not this picture. He showed it to you guys, too. Huh, you've seen it as well? Well, you know what they say about Maximilian Galactica. He really gets around. <laughs> oh, yeah. He didn't just show me the picture. What do you mean? He showed me his, bur his bus, too. Let me tell you, that thing is enormous. It's in the picture, I think. He'd make us worship it every day. He made us bow to his greatness. He's got a big bust. Nick, no, please, stop. I wouldn't mind hearing more about Max's bust. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. You're not hiding it very well. Max's bus should be on that small table over there. There's nothing over there. Really? Oh yeah. Hmm, when was it? I'd say about five days ago all of a sudden. The bus disappeared. It disappeared? If you want to see it, there's a photo on the bulletin board over there. That's a pretty elaborate bust. Made by the same company that did the, um... thing that we had to do in the rest from the ashes. I just had to put the picture up. Hmm. Hey, this thing is really cool. Nick, Nick, I want someone to make a bust of me. Sure, as long as I'm not paying for it. Well, no, I'll pay for her bust. Uh, is there anything else that's changed about this place? Nope, nothing's changed that I can see. I wonder if he's acting, actually thinking about this or if he's setting up for a bad joke. Nope, nope, I'm drawing a blank here. A quiet mo is a good mo in my book. I guess there really aren't any other things that have changed, huh? Well, there is this one teensy tiny thing that does seem different. Tell us, tell us. What changed, buddy? Well, on the morning of the crime over on that bulletin board, this piece of paper was posted front and center. 
piece of paper. It's torn, so I don't know what it said, but I could see its title. Yikes. It says, to the murderer. M -m -m murderer Yep, that's what it says, but the rest of it has been ripped off. And I don't know who posted it. Um, when did you find this? The morning before the murder. Before the murder? Yes, the ringmaster was killed the night after this paper was discovered. Who in the world posted this thing? Nick, I think this is a very important clue. It might be, I don't know. Um... Well, let's... Go and move to the detention center. And I think we have to give... Give Max this piece of paper. Now I just gotta figure out how to get out of here. We need to go back here. I can do this, it's fine. What's up, Max? How you doing? Um, Max, what do you know about this, uh, this here note? The morning of the murder was posted on the wall in the cafeteria. I do know all about that note. When I read it, my heart certainly skipped a beat. Your heart skipped a beat? How many hearts do you have again? While I was enjoying my morning tea, the ringmaster and, co and company entered the room. And company. I guess it wasn't really a company, it was just a, the ringmaster and my sweetie pie. When the ringmaster read the notes, he turned an incredible bright red. All of a sudden, he tore it off the wall and shoved it into the pocket of its tailcoat. Really? Out of curiosity, what in the world was written on that thing? Oh, well, let's see. Uh-huh. Oh, I don't want to steal the fun from my sweeties. Go ahead and find out for your- uh, go and find out on your own. I'm sure you can find it somewhere. You might also want to ask my sweetie pie princess. Um, I'd- I'd really rather not. Um, let's talk. No talk? Okay, that's cool. Let's uh, go and move to the ringmaster's room then. Ah, hi Trilo. Bye, Ben. You uh, you have you have fun now. You hear? No, it wasn't the big top that we go to, was it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. All right. Let's examine this tailcoat. Hey, do you see that? There's a scrap of paper shoved into the back of the tailcoat. You know, I've got a feeling I know what that is. I bet it's the other half of the note that Mo gave us. Then let's hurry up and check this thing out, Nick. Oh, I knew it. It fits perfectly with the other piece. What does it say? What does it say? To the murderer, I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Meet at 10 p.m. tonight at the Lodging House Plaza. Oh, no. Tonight at 10 p.m.? That's when the murder took place. Now I need to find out who called the ringmaster. And that's going to be a fun adventure in and of itself. Alright, let's get out of here and f try to find Regina. Either that or Von Karma's investigation may be done. Let's go to the... Circus entrance. I hate this place so much. Traveling, no, I don't want to do that. Traveling around it and such. Yeah, there it is. Hey, Detective Gumshoe. I'm sure you did a good job as usual. Well, I am I am done with the investigation of the acrobat, finally. But with Miss Montkarma... No, oh, no. Don't answer it. Nick, what is that? That beeping sound? Hmm. It's Ms. Von Karma. Huh? Every time I hear that sound, she's usually not far, very far behind. Some sort of pager or something? If you don't mind, pal, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Quick. See ya, pal. Bye, Gumshoe. Good luck. I didn't know that Gumshoe could run that fast. So much for being a flatfoot. Never seen a grown man so afraid of a girl still in her teens. 
Well, let's go inside. It's freezing out here. No, oh, with the... Mm. Ow. That whip could cut right through me. What's up, baby? How you doing? Von Karma. She really did appear. It was a battle today in court, wasn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Did you have to jump out and scare us like that? What can I do for you? Tomorrow will be the day. The day of my dream finally comes true. You mean the story of my defeat at your hands making the national news? <laughs> national news? You possess such a small sense of scale. The global news, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Your miserable plight will be known internationally. I think she might be overestimating the importance of a win by just a smidge. What's, you, what, what's, what's going on, girl? Tell me. Why are you so pissed off? Von Karma, Von Karma, it appears you got your hands onto something, eh? Huh, I'm amazed you picked up on that much. Anyone could. You couldn't hide that look of your vi a victory with ten paper bags on your head. I've got conclusive evidence and a conclusive witness. Need any more hints? A conclusive witness? You must mean the acrobat, right? I'm putting in the summons for him to be called as a witness as we speak. It's the final nail in your coffin, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yeah, 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 I get it already. You want to beat and destroy me. I can't worry about her. I've got to try and find out more information myself. Why do you want revenge so badly? It doesn't matter if you prove the defendant guilty tomorrow. Nothing will be able to bring your dad back. My dad... You must mean the esteemed Manfred von Karma. Of course, your dad. I know you miss him. Enough out of you. One more word and you'll get a mouthful of whip. Now, when did I ever bring up my papa's name in this, or any other conversation? Then... Then what's this revenge thing you're talking about? You wouldn't understand, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I have to see him again. One more time. Him? I'm sure you know to whom I refer, Miles Edgeworth. What? Edgeworth? M Mr. Edgeworth? M M M Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> Nick, you need to calm down, buddy. You're gonna have a fucking aneurysm. Miles Edgeworth. Why would you even bring him up? You haven't forgotten, have you? Do you know who it was that trained the gifted prosecutor, Miles Edgeworth? Manfred von Karma. Exactly right. It was my papa. That means that Edgeworth was... Right again. Miles was like a little brother to me, but he's older than you. Huh? Little brother? Edgeworth and Nick are the same age. Edgeworth. But he's dead. The man who inspired me to become an attorney. I fought against him in a few cases. But after that case was over, he vanished. It's your fault he is gone. Huh? It's the truth, isn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I... I... Nick, what does she mean? Let's talk about Edgeworth's death. After that case, Edgeworth was in a peculiar state, and he got worse every day. He never set foot into court again. And then one day, he just vanished. All he left was a simple note at the prosecutor's office. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. That was one year ago. It was right after you left to go back home. Mr. Edgeworth, he's dead? I don't believe it. He's still alive, I'm sure of it. Somewhere in this world, he's still alive. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. Of course he did. You ruined his reputation as a prosecutor. You effectively killed the prosecutor in him. Just like your victory muddied the honorable name Von Karma. I'm going to find him. 
Then I'm going to teach him the difference between right and wrong with my own hands. Nick, um, about Edgeworth. Maya, I already, I already told you this once, don't make me do it again. Don't bring up his name in front of me again, okay? Phoenix, stop being an asshole to Maya. Von Karma, what? I don't know if you are God's gift to prosecutors or not, but I've had about enough of you. Him too. What happened? Hm. This dog is all bark and no bite. He's already been defeated. Regardless, I have nothing to inform you two of today. Tomorrow will be the greatest courtroom battle this country has ever seen. Okay. Bye. Nick. Let's go. We need to talk to the performer on the third floor. I'm sorry I brought it up, Nick. Nick, you got a large chip on your shoulder and you need to calm down. Just calm down. Alright, let's go to Acro's room. Sub, dude. You have uh, birds on you. You must be Phoenix, right? Yes. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ken Dingley. What? But here at the circus, everyone calls me Acro. Mr. Acro? Um, how do you know my name? The detective told me. He said you'd definitely show up here. Acro, you're a member of the circus as well? That's right. I mainly perform on the tightrope or the flying trapeze. But nowadays, all I perform in is my wheelchair. <laughs> okay. That's uh, kind of difficult for you to be performing in a wheelchair, isn't it? Acro, why did you join the circus? When I was a kid, my parents failed miserably at business. Then one night, they decided to run away from it all, without me. Assholes. The only person who was willing to take my parents' place was the ringmaster. The ringmaster took such incredible care of me. He was truly a lifesaver. It seems like the ringmaster was truly a saint. He was. That's why I decided to do something very important. I decided that I would devote my entire life to finding a way to repay him. And now, look how someone repaid him for all the good in his life. It's such a shame. Sometimes I think that he was almost too kind. Perhaps he was too kind to his performers. Perhaps he was too kind to his daughter. Um, I wonder if he spoiled Regina. Regina is so cute, she's truly a princess. Truly a princess? Are you sure that's a good thing? Are you sure that's a good thing? Um... Hmm. Do I detect a hint of grudge against Regina? Probably do. Um... I'm sorry to ask, but why are you in a wheelchair? The nerves in my legs were badly damaged. And you can't walk now. I can't even stand now. And since I live on the third floor, I can't even leave this building by myself. That's awful. The accident happened during the, an acrobatic session, right? Um... Lies. Lies and deceit, but it's only three locks, so it's baby mode. It doesn't seem like Acro's injuries were acrobatic in nature. What's on your mind, Mr. Wright? Well, exactly when were you injured? It's been almost, no, it's almost been six months since I was hurt. I injured my legs during practice. Six months ago. When the world went on at this circus then? It's always six months with this shit. Six months, six years, I like the number six. I stopped by yesterday and noticed that you weren't in your room. I was at the hospital all day yesterday. Ah, you went there for a rehabilitation? What about the murder? Of course I knew about it. I spoke with the police before they allowed me to go to the hospital. Before I got the call from the prosecutor, I was convinced that it was all a dream. My question here is why don't they move you to the bottom floor, considering your injuries and your disability? Why are you at the third floor? <laughs> Can't Mo take your place? Huh? I just couldn't believe it when I saw what I saw. 
what you saw. <laughs> Jeez, that sounded really ominous. What'd you see? You also know you have those birds pecking at your head, right? What did you see, Acro? That night, I was in bed sleeping when I heard a huge sound coming from below my window. I see, the scene of the crime was right below your window. That's when I looked out the window. What did you see? He was flying straight up into the air. He? Maximilian Galactica. What? That's what I thought he'd say. You're absolutely positive that it was Max you saw flying? I am absolutely sure. There's no doubt in my mind. Uh, Nick? Well, well, there's not much else we can do here for it. Um, let's go ahead and move out. We gotta talk to Regina, so maybe she's at the big top. At the big top proper. Maybe. Ben's still waiting out here for her, so... He's gonna freeze to death. Oh god, no, it's the tiger again. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, Nick! Wonderful, today's special must be Phileo Phoenix. Stay, stay, heal! Get your fucking tiger away from me, I swear to god I'm going to put it down. Oh, Maya, Nick, it's you guys. I'm sorry, I guess I made a mistake. A mistake? Yeah, a little one. I was thinking of teaching whatever primate was out there a lesson. And I was expecting more of a monkey than a human. A monkey? Oh, we are monkeys, technically, so let's talk about your dad. Big ol' fat monkey. It's a pity that, uh, it's a pity about oh, what happened to the ringmaster. Dad? Everyone loved him, didn't they? He must have been a, quite the man. He was. I love my dad so much. I hate to say it, but she doesn't seem all that broken up about her father. That's why I feel so lonely. Now that I won't be able to see him for a while. For a while? Yeah. When Leon died, I talked with my dad and he told me that when someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. A star? That means that my dad is looking down on me from the sky. That's why I love the night so much. I can see everyone who's gone. When someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. That's kinda sweet. But I bet you there's no way that Maya believes that. What do you mean there's no way I believe <laughs> Maya, no, that was internal monologue. You're not supposed to hear that. Do you think that one day I'll be a star too? Of course. You really think so? Yeah, you will, I, th I think. I've got a feeling that everyone is doing great up there in the sky. I wonder if everything's alright with Regina. No, she's pretty sheltered and kind of a ditz. Alright, let's talk about monkeys. Just to go back and clear something up, why'd you want to teach Money a lesson? Because he's a meanie. He's got something that means a lot to me. Something that means a lot to you? Oh, it must be something shiny, right? Um, actually, it's a stage costume. It's got lots of spangles. It's really beautiful. You should see it. What are spangles? When the costume gets hit by the spotlight, it daggle, dazzles. Daggles. Hey, Mr. Attorney. Huh? If you saw that monkey, you'd get my dress back for me, wouldn't you? It's really important to me. Well, uh, I'll get it for you. But of course, Glad, literally no option here. You shouldn't have even given me this. Leave it all up to us. There's no way I could turn down that request. Yeah, you're really gonna get it? You're gonna do it? Yes, I guess. Fine. Whatever. Um... Alright, let's present the note, since uh, Regina was there. Regina, have you seen this before? Uh, I know what this is. Really? Well, it was in my pocket for a while. It was in your pocket? This piece of paper was in your pocket? Or what pocket? You have no pockets on that costume. <laughs> hmm, I guess I noticed it was in there around breakfast time. Breakfast time? 
Yeah, I always take Acro to his breakfast in the morning. That's when I also take out the trash in his room. Then I go to the cafeteria and eat my own breakfast. That's when you realize the piece of paper was in your pocket? Yep, but since I'm not a murderer, I just figured it belonged in someone else's pocket. And then what? I wondered if the person who lost it was in trouble, so... You didn't put it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria, did you? I did, I stuck it up there. How'd you know? Huh, so it was Regina who put it up there. When did this happen? Um, the morning of the murder, I think. That explains a lot. I wonder who wrote this. The evil mastermind. Alright, well, we got nothing else to talk to you about, so let's, uh, go and do something else. Um... We gotta find money now. And money hangs out with Moe's room, so that's obviously the next stop for us. Let's go find Mo. He's not even here, is he? Hmm, Mo's not here. What's that? I hear something. Stop it, Nick. You're scaring me. Oh, God damn it! it's the monkey. Nick, it's money. That monkey's gotten his hands on something again. That's it. That's the thing that means a lot to Regina, remember? Alright, time to take on this monkey, attorney style. Give it back, monkey brain. Stay. <laughs> I mean, uh... Might as well turn into Harambe. Yeah, he outdated means. Yikes. Did we win? That was the best boss fight in any video game ever. I tried to have a monkey to monkey talk with him. I, I really did. Nick, what's that? I swiped it while money was distracted. Really? Oh, you're really on the ball today, Nick. Let me see it. Let me see it. Huh? You can see it fine from where you are. You know what I mean. I probably want to try on Regina's costume. Maybe then they'll take you in at the circus and I can get some peace and quiet. You don't want that. Hmm. What's the matter now? It doesn't fit me at all. Oh well, I guess it's time for you to lay off the burgers. Not to mention it doesn't look like something any girl I know would actually wear. You don't know a lot of girls either, so... Alright. Uh, okay, Mo wasn't in here. Maybe he's in the cafeteria? I don't fucking know. And we gotta go back and give... Regina her costume. That's right. So let's go and do that. Just one big fetch quest in an adventure game. Oh. That actually makes sense. All right, Regina, we got your costume. Can you shut up now? There you go, Regina. Yay, thank you. You really got it back for me. Don't mention it. I love you, Mr. Attorney. Oh, God, no. No wonder guys melt a mush in front of this girl. Hey, Regina. That costume is yours, right? I tried it on, but it didn't fit me. Huh? This costume? This isn't mine. It's It was Leon's. Leon's? You know, Le the lion she told us about. Oh, the one that someone killed. Yeah. Alright, do we have anything else to talk to you about? Oh, Leon, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Leon, no, oh, he was killed, wasn't he? Oh, that's right, my dad killed him. Why? Well, Leon did something really bad during practice. During practice? Leon was sitting down, and then he opened his mouth, you know, gaw. Uh-huh. Usually when he did that, it, I would put my head into his mouth. Wait, you put your head into a lion's mouth? I sure did. The people in the crowd always loved seeing me do that. They'd always start screaming. Are you sure they were screaming because they loved seeing you do that? Anyways. Oh. Anyways, what was the bad thing? Oh uh, yeah, Leon bit someone during that practice. Regina, everything was alright though, right? 
No, it wasn't alright. That was the problem. My dad was incredibly angry. And that's when Leon. Yeah, that's when he became a star in the sky. Poor thing. Oh good, he's evidence. Alright, now can we leave? Uh, I think we have to. Alright, so... Check everything off. I think now we should go to the cafeteria. Yeah, Mo was in here, that's right. I remember, he wasn't in his room. Something smells fantastic. So we know it can't be Mo. Wait, I know what it is, it's burgers. Hello, 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 welcome to the Bistro du Cirque, aka the cafeteria. Mmm, it smells so good in here, those burgers look great. She's a drooling like she's some sort of crazed burger monster. Like she, apostrophe, no S. My burgers are always the best. Juicy meat, toasted bun, special sauce. They are absolutely irresistible to anyone with a hankering for a burger. Oh, I'd like to try most burger. One bite will send you into a hamburger heaven. I bet. I can tell that I can tell by the smell. Whoa, I'm getting hungry too. Those burgers must have some kind of special power. Alright, Mo, let's talk. What no, not what you witnessed. There we go. Very big circus. Now that the ringmaster is gone, what are you gonna do? Uh, uh, that's all I've thought about the past two days. Everyone loved Russell. You've heard Acro's story, haven't you? Like how he was adopted when he was younger. He's calmed down a bit now, but when the murder happened, he was livid. Acro was so upset that he said he couldn't go on. He was that upset? Yes, he was. Anyways, I gave it some thought. Maybe I should give up on trying to be half-baked clown. I've been thinking about trying on the ringmaster shoes. What? Really? Max would still be an issue, though. Max? He may be a bit mean and hard to work with, but it's hard to argue his importance. He's probably the reason the circus is still around. A lot of what he says is right. No. All that's left is to see if everyone else would get over the tragedy. You know. The tragedy? You know. What is he talking about? What do you mean, get over it? Get over what tragedy, Mo? Huh? Oh, don't worry about it. It's nothing. Nothing at all. You must mean the tragic death of the Ringmaster, right? Yes. Yes, that's it. You're right, girly. Dang, dang, dang. Correcto mundo. He doesn't mean ding? Mo, I mean no disrespect here, but are you lying to us? Ugh. Uh, no, not at all. What makes you think that? Just the way you said if everyone would get over it. Seemed a bit strange. Sounded like you were talking about something from a long time ago. Mo, I'm right, aren't I? And psych lock. Oh, it's only two. So now we're getting closer to the truth. It was about six months ago. It was just a little accident. Give me a break. Us old men have accidents. I wear big pants for a reason. Six months ago, eh? I dare you to bring that up with the uh, with the judge and see how far you get. All right, Magatama. I actually have a lot of information here that we can throw at him. It's only two anyway, so get over it. Mo, please tell us what happened six months ago. When the world went on at this circus. Okay, okay, there's no need to look so scary when you ask me. Hey, look over there, some juicy burgers, let's eat instead. Unfortunately, I'm more of a grilled chicken sandwich man myself. What are you, a woman? Uh, actually, I've kind of got an idea of what happened back then. Mo, you said something about an accident. This wouldn't happen to be the cause of that accident. What it's... We have to present Leon the Lion... I heard a little bit about it from Regina. It's a question. I heard a little bit about it from Regina? I don't know, Phoenix. Did you? Leon made a mistake during a performance, right? What? I told them so many times. You shouldn't be doing dangerous performances like that. Putting their head inside of Leon's mouth was part of an act. But Regina believed in Leon. She believed so strongly that the ringmaster went along, he could never say no to her. Out of curiosity, who was bitten? 
Come on, Mo. Don't clam up on me now. Who did Leon bite on the head? Well, um, I promised I wouldn't say anything. You promised? He's involved in this, too. He's involved, huh? Mo must be talking about... Uh, Mo, is this the person that you promised you wouldn't say anything about to whatever the hell? He's talking, of course, about Acro. It must have been Acro, right? Hell, how'd you know? Don't worry about that, Mo. Getting to the bottom of this ac bottom of this accident may help solve what happened to the ringmaster. No way. I need to know the truth about what happened to Russell. Please tell me what you know. I'm sorry, Acro. It's just like you said, you know, the accident. Did someone die? No, but it would have been, probably been better if he had. What? How would you th How would that have been better? He's still alive. But when he got bit, he suffered massive brain damage. He'll never recover from the coma that he's in. Coma? All he does now is lay in his bed at the hospital. That's all he's ever going to be able to do. What are you talking about? Acro's upstairs on the third floor. I see. How's he related to Acro? He's his brother. Huh? The person who got bit was Acro's brother. Brother? They were an acrobat team of brothers. Acro and Bat, goddammit. Cute nicknames, I thought. Anyways, they were an incredible team. Cut down at the same time. Um, who's Acro's younger brother? Sean Ningling. What everyone calls him, always called him Bat. He fell in love with Regina, trying to win her love was his downfall. Everyone seems to fall in love with Regina. Six months ago, while, he were, while we were practicing, all of a sudden Bat blurts out, Let me perform with Leon! Why'd he do that? I don't know, but that's what caused the accident. I'll never forget that moment. It was so strange. Leon had the weirdest look on his eye, on his fa face, face. He was smiling. He? You mean Leon? Yes, Leon. When he bent down, he was smiling. Some sick grin. No way. That's impossible. A smirking lion, a flying murderer. Why does it seem that it's always Mo who catches all these incredible events? Nick, can lions smile? Um... We never told the police about the incident. The circus would have shut down if we had. The next day, the ringmaster took Leon out and shot him with a rifle. So that's what really happened. Well, you guys were so serious, what was I supposed to do? I had to tell you. But all this truthfulness has put me in a mood for a burger. Here, you two have some pepper. Shaka shaka shaka. There he goes again, acting like his normal crazy self. Ah. Ah. Oh. Poor Maya. Nice, what a wonderful sneeze. Huh, you think so? You sneeze with pepper and slip on a banana. That's basic clownsmanship. Early I know, you gotta understand that. Nick, I think I'm, I'd make a good clown. Other than Regina, I've never seen a cuter sneezer. Does Regina sneeze with Pepper too? She does. I would always tease her with Pepper. Bat. From my per point of view, those two always look so perfect together. They look perfect together, huh? Why are just Why are we repeating everything each other are saying? Stop doing that. If you're not, ugh, God damn it. All right, so. We're done with Mo, and now we have to go to Acro. He's the last bit that we have. So let's find him. Back to the big top. Gotta find, gotta go to the circus entrance. Lodging house, and then finally, not examine, not examine, no, stop doing that. Finally, 
Acro's room. Because he can't leave, because on the, he's on the third floor. I don't understand why, still. Ah, oh, Mr. Wright. Back again, I see. Well, he did say I'll be back. Wait, was that someone else? We're back because Acro's hiding why his legs were injured. He was hurt in an accident six months months ago. It would seem that he knows what he not what ugh. Well well, it seems you've got things you want to talk about, so far away. Yeah, we do actually. Um we shouldn't actually do that though. Actually gotta shove this Magatom on your face. I like how the birds fly away, like, oh shit. These chains are gonna catch me. Alright, it's about the wheelchair. I have to ask you, how were you injured? I'm sorry, I thought we talked about this. It was an accident that happened during practice. An accident during practice, you say? Yes, unfortunately acrobats are prone to all sorts of injuries. He's lying. If that were the real cause, he'd have no reason to keep it secret. Acro, are you really telling me that a practice accident was the cause of your injury? So now we have to present him with... Leon. Just throw a lion at his face. Leon. Six months ago, you were attacked by the lion. That's when you were injured. Excuse me. I know I'm on the right track, just need to keep going. You're saying that I was attacked by a lion. That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright, but I am an acrobat. I'm no animal tamer. If a lion was coming at me, I'd be running for the exit. I'm not sure if attack is the best word to be using. You must have battled the lion. You seem to enjoy telling jokes. Why would I decide to battle a lion? Because you had to fight it. You had to fight it to save someone. Now we have to profiles your younger brother back. But It was a shame what happened to your brother six months ago. You tried to save him, didn't you? And that's how you got that terrible injury. Did you go legs first, or what? Mo, he must have told you. Yes, we learned about Bat from Mo, but he didn't mention anything about you in regards to the accident. I suppose it was just a slip of the tongue on his part. That's how I figured it out. A slip of the tongue. Anyways, they were an incredible team. Cut down at the same time. Cut down at the same time. That was where he slipped. And that's how I figured it out. You two ended up wrapped up in the same accident together. Like always. I see. But an accident is an accident. It wasn't anyone's fault. I still haven't broken Acro's psych lock. He must have an incredibly deep-seated secret. It wasn't anyone's fault. Uh, do you care to explain more? Acro, I know you're still hiding something from me. Maybe something you don't seem to like much as being the reason you're being evasive. So now, it's on to Regina. Take that. Regina. You always seem calm and collected until you start talking about her. Saying things like she is Cruel. Well done, Mr. Attorney. You've got quite the set of eagle eyes. You know, her tiger tried to attack me. Regent tried to attack you. Twice. Ha ha ha, wasn't, he wasn't serious, I'm sure. You're not trying to insinuate that I believe she spurred on Leon to attack. Bat, are you? Leon was never taught a command to attack people. Regina isn't capable of doing anything like that. Besides, Regina had no reason to want to hurt my little brother. Regina and Bat were such a good friends back then. But you still hate Regina. I've got proof of it. What? What are you talking about? No. Maybe I overdid it again. But if I had, if I can hand something over to Acro, maybe it'll... Here's proof that you had it out for Regina all along. Alright. And finally, the note. This. Where'd you get it? Regina posted it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria. Before that, it was in her pocket. Hmm, I guess they noticed it was in there around breakfast time. I always take Acro his breakfast in the morning. 
You wrote this, and then you put it in her pocket. That's right, isn't it? That's right. Well done, Mr. Wright. Damn Skippy. Alrighty, what do we got? Wheelchair. My legs were injured by Leon. Six months ago. My younger brother, Matt, had a dare with Regina. A dare? An absurd dare. If I can put my head inside of Leon's mouth like you do, you have to go to the movies with me on a date. That's insane. Didn't he know how dangerous that dangerous that is? We all thought it We all thought he was being stupid too. But that lion was very old to begin with. And age brought with it countless experience in doing that very trick. Unfortunately, this particular time, I guess Leon wasn't ready, ready or willing. And that's when the accident happened. He was he just wanted to take her out to the movies. Poor bat. When Leon chomped down, I jumped towards him. Then Leon attacked me, and that's how I ended up. What about Bat? He's still in a coma. I went to the hospital yesterday to visit him. I see. I'm still waiting for him to open his eyes again. And that's the reason why I keep going. No, I didn't want that, damn it. Bat and Regina. They were such great friends. Oh yeah. I wanted to take I wanted you to take a look at this. What is it? This is the scarf my brother was wearing when Leon attacked him. Gross, it's covered in blood. This scarf was a present from Regina to my brother on the day of the accident. Hmm. When he did it, he looked like he was smiling. He? Leon, obviously. What? When he bit down on Bat's head, the expression on Leon's face looked like a grin. Nick, I know, most said the same thing. What do you think it all means? I'll be taking that scarf if you don't mind. No, Franny, please. Von Karma, I've already heard everything, so hand over the scarf. But the scarf has evidence in the trial. That is for me to decide. I think we should begin our preparations now, Acro. Preparations? I've served a summons on Acro to appear in court tomorrow as a witness. Acro will talk more at the prosecutor's office. Acro, a witness? Come, Acro, let's go to the office. Yes, ma. Oh, bye. Now what do we do, Nick? How are we going to handle tomorrow? Don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. Look at you all full of confidence. You must have found something you can use. This is all beginning to come together now.